66 million years ago, one cosmic intruder fell from the heavens, slammed into our planet with the force of a billion nuclear bombs, and erased the dinosaurs forever. That single rock reshaped evolution, climate, and life itself. Now imagine this. Not one asteroid, not two, but five of the most dangerous celestial bodies linked to Earth's past and future, colliding with our planet in the same moment. No warning, no defense, no miracle escape, just instant cosmic judgment day. Asteroids aren't rare visitors. Space constantly tosses debris our way, most of it tiny, turning into harmless fire streaks in the upper atmosphere. But once in a while, the universe winds up and throws something big, something violent, something history changing. Now picture five of those catastrophic objects arriving together. From city flatteners to world enders, each one worse than the last, each one stacking destruction until civilization crumbles and life flickers out. This is not a survival scenario. This is a reset button on Earth itself. The Behringer Impact. A desert awakens violently. Our simulation begins gently. If that word can apply to an explosion equivalent to multiple nuclear detonations. 50,000 years ago in what is now Arizona, a roughly 50 meter wide iron asteroid plowed into Earth. It carved out what we now call Meteor Crater, a scar nearly a mile wide and deeper than most office towers are tall. Now it returns. A blinding fireball tears through the sky, brighter than any lightning flash. The desert ground trembles. In seconds, a boom echoes across the barren plains as the asteroid slams into Earth with enough energy to level a modern city. The sand vaporizes. Rock shatters. A wave of searing wind rips outward, flattening everything within kilometers. The crater yawns open like a fresh wound in the planet's skin. Had Phoenix or any major city been sitting here today, skyscrapers would fold like sheets of paper. Glass would explode outward. The heat alone would scorch skin from bone. Humanity survives this first blow, but panic erupts worldwide. Thousands dead. Emergency broadcasts everywhere. The illusion of planetary safety shatters. The world has just learned it's under attack, but the sky has only begun to fall. The YR-4 airburst, Bogota's sky turns into fire. Our second visitor is not prehistoric, but modern. Discovered in 2024, asteroid YR-4 briefly terrified scientists when early calculations showed a real chance it could strike Earth in 2032. Thankfully, better data later pushed the odds close to zero. But in this nightmare, the worst possible timeline plays out. YR-4 streaks towards South America, it doesn't even need to touch the ground to wreak havoc. 10 kilometers above Bogota, it detonates in a superheated fireball. Day turns to blinding white. The city's skyline buckles under the shockwave. Concrete rips apart. Bridges twist. Vehicles bounce into the air as if gravity forgot to function. The sound arrives moments later in a roaring blast that feels like a mountain collapsing in your chest. Fires sprout across the capital. Millions scream, scramble, and suffer. Hospitals fill instantly. Power grids collapse. Entire blocks are gone, replaced by dust clouds and panic. Even towns miles away feel windows shatter and walls crumble. This blast alone could cripple a nation's economy for decades, but our simulation doesn't stop at economic collapse. It is only warming up. Oumuamua, the interstellar mystery becomes a planetary curse. Next, Earth meets a visitor from outside our solar system. Oumuamua, the slender, tumbling, unexplained object that passed Earth in 2017, sparked debates ranging from frozen comet fragment to alien probe. In our scenario, it doesn't drift away into the void. It takes a deadly dive toward Earth's surface. It crashes into the Amazon basin with catastrophic fury. A blast equal to a gigaton erupts ripping open a crater wider than downtown Manhattan. Forests older than recorded human history disappear in an instant. The Amazon, the world's richest biodiversity zone and a vital oxygen generator, evaporates into steam, smoke, and ash. Rivers boil, turning ecosystems into chemical soups. Shockwaves rumble through Brazil, Peru, Colombia, and across the continent. 
Ash spreads across South America like dark snow. Planes are grounded. Crops suffer from dimming light. Trade routes freeze. Panic spreads internationally. Scientists choke on their fear. Three massive impacts in hours, each escalating in power. But humans still live. Frightened, starving, desperate, and staring helplessly at the sky. Little do they know the true executioner is next. Chikulub, the dinosaur killer returns. Then comes the rock that already wiped the world once. The Chicxulub asteroid. 10 kilometers across, an extinction engine, a planet-changing force. Humanity watches helplessly as a burning sphere grows brighter and larger until it fills the horizon over the Gulf of Mexico. The impact is apocalyptic. Water vaporizes instantly. The Yucatan Peninsula shatters. A blast wave sweeps outward faster than sound, flattening everything across thousands of kilometers. The ocean surges into tsunamis taller than bridges and stronger than hurricanes. Mexico vanishes under fire and waves. Florida and Cuba drown beneath towering walls of water. And then comes the sky's revenge. Ash, dust, sulfur. Sunlight dims across the world. The atmosphere turns thick, choking, and poisonous. Crops die, temperatures drop. Global trade collapses overnight. Humans fight for scraps as governments fall and nations splinter. This single impact once triggered Earth's last great mass extinction. Now it hits again, while Earth is already bleeding from multiple wounds. Humanity has maybe weeks left, but the universe isn't finished. Meteorite S2, the planet breaker. Long before dinosaurs, before oxygen, before continents settled, a colossal rock called S2 smashed into ancient oceans near what is now South Africa. It was believed to be hundreds of times more massive than Chicxulub. It nearly melted the planet's crust. It boiled oceans. It may have reset life itself. Now imagine it arriving in 2025. The ocean explodes into superheated steam pillars taller than mountains. The crust rips open like cracked glass, spewing magma. Earthquakes detonate globally with power so great entire continents shake. The atmosphere ignites in fiery rain. The shockwave circles the globe multiple times, flattening every city that still stands. This isn't destruction, it is erasure. Civilization vanishes instantly. Oceans die. Skies darken for generations. Temperatures plunge. The biosphere collapses. Even deep sea microbes struggle to hold on. Humanity's story ends not quietly but violently, spectacularly, erased in a single cosmic event day. Earth becomes a silent, frozen rock, spinning in space, waiting millions of years before life dares to spark again? Could this ever happen? The realistic answer, no. The odds of these five asteroids arriving together are beyond absurd. These impacts occurred or were predicted across billions of years. Nature does not repeat this lineup. The universe is brutal, but it is not that cruel without time between blows. However, a single large asteroid? That is not fantasy. That is a known possibility. We watch the sky. Telescopes scan space constantly. NASA tests redirect missions like DART. Agencies plan deflection, nukes and space ideas, gravity tugs. Humanity is preparing. Because one strike is survivable with planning. Five is cosmic comedy, but one is real danger. The lesson from this nightmare. We live in a lucky window of cosmic peace. The dinosaurs did not get telescopes. They did not build rockets. They did not invent physics, satellites, hazard monitoring systems. But we did. The ultimate irony? We fear aliens, climate, pandemics. Yet the oldest threat in existence still lurks above us, silent and cold. Asteroids don't hate us, they don't choose. They simply travel. And when paths cross, history changes. Today, you woke up, saw daylight, and breathed clean air because space stayed quiet. In the cosmic lottery, that's a gift. Treasure every sunrise. Humanity exists not because the universe is safe, but because for now, it has been merciful. Thankfully, this nightmare stays in our imagination. And above us right now, the sky is quiet.
at least for today. If you enjoyed diving into this ultimate end of the world simulation and want to explore more mind-bending scenarios, make sure you don't leave without hitting that like and subscribe. Until then, keep looking up and appreciate every sunrise. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next reality.